Welcome back guys, we're doing another episode of Fallout 4 here, and uh, I just kind of skipped this beginning mission with Cosworth, because it's kind of boring. I mean, you really just go around a bunch of houses and you kill blowflies, which are like, you know, giant flies. Well, you know. Um, but basically you were just trying to find your family, and you find out that two things. First off, it's 200 years later, so it's quite a big jump from then till now. But also that your family... Uh, that there are people in Concord that could possibly help you find your family. So after I'm done looting here, we're gonna head over to Concord and see what those people have to say. But for now, let's try not to screw this up. I have one bobby pin. Thank God. Got it. All right. So one of the things that I've um, been thinking about is what kind of build I want to do for this character. Um, just basically like the playstyle, I'm going to be running with the character. And I'm going to go with an outlaw. I've never actually done an outlaw. I usually do somebody who is, you know, a good guy, uh, saves people and stuff like that. I've never actually been the bad guy, like the person that people are afraid of and, you know, really don't want to mess with. So, we're going to do that. Um, how, I'm going to get like a kind of a wasteland outfit. Uh, what do you call it? A drifter, I think? But it's basically a big overcoat. Um with a revolver and like a cowboy head or something we'll, we'll you know just go across the wasteland and whatever it looks like an outlaw outfit we'll wear but yeah that's kind of the theme i'm going to go with i don't know i just feel like and when you're running with like a style or like a certain type of character it, it makes the game more fun and interesting because you kind of have to restrict yourself to like a certain play style so that's what we're going to be doing for this guy um why is that called a not? Is there a difference between these two? Is it not N99? Oh, I think these were telling. Oh, that must be a mod or something. Because usually they're just 10 millimeter pistols. Hmm. Anyway, but yeah. So the good thing about Concord is that a lot of these houses have um, really easy chests and earth safes, whatever you want to call them, in them. Um, novice level, which is the beginning. There's all this, also this root cellar back here, which if a certain mod is downloaded, excuse me, there should be something down here. Uh, I don't think I have it downloaded. There's like a cheating menu that, that's down here, really strong. but it's not down here now because I don't have the mod installed. But if you go to this place, it's got a lot of nice starting things, and this is really good for if you are doing survival mode because you have all this uh, purified water uh, and food right off the bat, which is if you ever play um, survival, you're really going to need. But we don't actually need it. I think it actually is good for health. How do you access the pit boy? I thought it was tab, is it not? What the heck? Mm, it's been a while and I wasn't really reading it because I thought it was just tab. Oh, caps lock, right? It's weird. Alright, so... Purified water. Yeah, actually it's pretty good. For, it's 40%, 40 health. Which is, yeah, it's alright. It's not great, it's not horrible. My... Okay, so tab is like toggle walking. It's good to know. Alright, that's pretty much everything down here. But yeah, um, also like gonna go with the whole being a dick thing, that, that seems pretty fun. Just like, usually that just entails like siding with the bad guys or, you know, having, there's, a, when you're talking to people there's a sarcastic option just, you, you know, saying that, because usually it's pretty funny. Um, so, so we search these houses, this is our house, there's Codsworth right there, um, just basically, uh, if you have this mod, it's really nice, because you can just run around and just pick, like, everything up, uh, and I, in doing this, I'm gonna, like, miss a lot of stuff, but I know how boring it is to watch somebody just sit here and pick all this crap up, so. I'm not going to sit here and be as thorough as usually I usually would be. 
Um, but there is this nice little book in here right here. Which I will increase intelligence. Basically because it just um, helps you level up faster. Which is, you know, a big thing. Which, and speaking of which, I think I have a level up. I do. What, where is the pistol? Here's, nope. Here we go. Yeah, so non-automatic pistol. So this is going to be really good for our build because we're using revolvers. Um, this is the staging house. Grab all this crap. Got ballistic fiber off the bat. That's pretty good. Um, don't have a pistol or a uh, revolver right now, so we're just gonna have to kind of work with this. But this is why you always like get all the grab all these um scraps, because like right right off the bat, I have a pretty well upgraded pistol. You know, and I just got out of the vault, so that mod is definitely helpful. Granted, a lot of people would probably think it's cheating because it does open a lot of doors um, as far as leveling up quickly and getting like really OP gear really quickly. So I can understand why somebody wouldn't necessarily want to run with it, but it's almost like imperative for me. Um. All right, sorry about that cut, guys. I just had to take care of something real quick. But we are back. So, yeah, like I said, I will be building settlements and things, like, off-camera. Well, not off-camera, but I will record it, but I will, like, specially label the videos that are just me building settlements. And then if you want to watch them, you can. If not, whatever. But after I'm done with that, I will, um, basically go back over it in the next episode that's not uh, about building the settlement. And just give you, you know, a brief overview of what I did. Uh, just to keep you up to date. But... I don't think there's a safe in this house. Could be wrong. Hope I am. I'm not. Alright. Yeah, Sanctuary is a good place to... Definitely take your time the way through. Alright. I don't know why I'm grabbing uh, the food, because it's like super irradiated and I never eat it, but whatever. Two bobby pins, so if I can break one. I don't want to break one. Let's not break one. Thank you. Yes. I need to go break down these guns though, so I don't run out of inventory space. Speaking of which, how much do I have? Let's do this. Oh, that's problematic. I need to start leveling up. I did not know that I needed so much agility. Alright, well. You live and you learn, I suppose. Okay. I'm fairly I'm fairly certain that will be alright, because well, I can't. I'm not certain actually. The uh, having all the scrap and stuff will definitely help in keeping our weapons upgraded. But I'll need to also upgrade my blacksmithing ability. Uh, that's what I call it. Tinkering ability, whatever you want to call it. So I can actually upgrade the guns better. Nice. All right. Grab this. Grab these. Don't do that. That's not useful. It's not it's just information story. That's good to sell. That's another problem with this game though, is that when you go to merchants they don't have as many caps as usual. And you don't like you can't sell stuff that quickly. It's a problem I ran into during when I played Skyrim. Which, I mean, granted, there are probably mods out there, and if it becomes a problem, I probably will just mod it. So they have more money. Alright. 
But on the bright side, even though like we have so little agility, we have a lot of intelligence, so that'll help balance out everything and then allow us to level up faster. Okay. I think that's all the houses. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's equip those grenades just in case. Let's get going. Alright. M14, it's good to have, but I'm not going to use it. Let's put on these drifter outfit. Looks kind of like an outlaw. A little bit. Not exactly the look I'm going for, but it's good for good enough for now. I definitely don't want that. Let's see, red rocket. Where we where we meet another good companion. Good old dog meat. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Sort of a flea bag, aren't you? Okay then, let's stick together. <laughs> um, yeah, he's pretty useful. You can tell him to go grab stuff for me or stuff like that. Like right there, found something. I don't know what he found. He's gonna lead me to it. What? He found a magazine rack. All right, good for you. It's about as useless as it gets, but you know. He tried. That's what's important. Alright. Uh, the one thing that I wish they would actually like, um, it, like give a use to those ham radios, because like in every game you can turn on the ham radio, but it never does anything. Maybe it does, I don't know. I've never... I don't know why I'm going into this, I already know what door that is. I've never found a use for like actually turning on the ham radios. All right, come on out. Gotcha, gotcha. Got him. All right, that's pretty easy. All right, let's let's break down these. See if we can get some. Already have the comfort grip. Let's get the close sights going. Next thing we want is the uh, quick eject mag. Large, well, the large one preferably, but. We got this nice glowing. Uh, what? That's a freaking garage door went down for no reason. Alright, we got, maybe can we get that now? What do we need for this? Adhesive, okay. Alright, moving on. Our trusty uh, man's best friend over here. I guess we can't really do anything with our drifter outfit. Let's go down here. Gathering up all the loots. All them goodies. Around the butt. Off. pretty easy. Let's grab this, grab this, get out, run. Alright, grab this, get rid of, I don't want that crap. Middle bucket, an arm, <laughs> should I be useful at some point? 
That dude's a freaking boss. Give me them teeth. Give me them teeth. Don't break it. Don't break my bobby pin. You son of a bitch. There's not another one around here, is there? Stop. There's not gonna be any bobby pins around here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, well you suck. Alright, well. I get it. Whatever. Whatever, bruh. 